Well, winter's coming to an end here now, and I've got some warmer weather, so I can uh, start using epoxy in here. I'm, I'm going to start putting the boat panels together, and uh, I'll just show you how that goes. I have to mix up some epoxy here. I'll show you how I do that, and then I will glue the panels together. I'll show you that, and that's about it. Kind of boring. This is the resin I'm using for my boat here, System 3 Epoxy. And I've got a uh, slow hardener, and this over here is the fast hardener. Each has a different use depending on uh, what part of the boat I'm working on. Okay, I've got two to one epoxy. I need uh, two parts of the resin to one part of the hardener. This is another bottle of hardener, it's almost empty. I'll show you how I mix it. I use a, just a paper cup. It doesn't, I put a nail in here, I need two measures of this, one measure of that. So it doesn't really matter if this is an ounce or half an ounce or two ounces or anything. As long as I measure everything to that nail in there, it'll come out. Gotta mix this stuff real good or it won't kick off right. All right, now I'll take you over to where this is going to be, uh, all these pieces are going to be glued together. <clears throat> I had to stretch this across a couple of benches because this is such a long project here. I had to find any place I could put it, so I've got it on top of my uh, table saw here. And I've put plastic down underneath. Epoxy won't stick to the plastic, so uh, that's the last thing I want is for this thing to mess up my table saw. And this should work just fine. So I'm going to glue all of this up here. Get all of these uh, edges wetted out and then I'll show you how I put them together. Kind of just boring to watch this here so I'll turn it back on in a few minutes. Fill in these cracks a little bit. This wood will soak up a little bit of this, so I'll try to fill these little tiny voids. When I put these on the form, there will be some lateral force onto these, so they need to be able to be stuck together really well. I 
I got 18 panels to put together. So it'll take a little while, take me a couple of days. I don't have enough space in here to do it all at once. I don't really need to clamp them because of the shape of those joints. They should stay together pretty well on their own. And on to the next one. Well today I'm going to be working on the bottom of the boat here. I've got both half, halves of the bottom laying here. Each half has three panels uh, in it. And they have to be stitched together to form the bottom of the boat. In order to do that, they need to have a bevel um, cut all the way around the outside, around the perimeter of the boat. So when I put the panels together, uh, they fit together better. I'll, I'll show you how that goes later. But that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to take this router here and run it around the edge. And I'll show you how that works in a minute here. I just unroll this wire here. This is just general purpose wire, mechanics wire, whatever you want to call it. I cut off a piece approximately seven inches long. I stick it through the hole. And then I can uh, wrap it around here, twist it together, not too tight, but you know, you want it fairly snug. And put enough twist in it so it won't slip when you open it up. I've got to move my panel that hole is, the bench is covering that hole. <clears throat> just like this. You just keep wrapping these things in here until you've done the whole side of the boat. It ain't hard to do. It's a little tedious. Just the same thing over and over and over. And when I open these up, you open these panels up just like you would when these are all wired together, you open them up like you would open up a book. And this curve here, because of that curve, what, the, what that will do is it will bring the bow of the boat up. You know, the front of the boat has a curve to it. This is what makes that curve. I'm cutting these here seven inches long. The, uh, the length of these wires really isn't anything critical. It's just whatever is handy for you, what works the best. If it's too short, it's hard on your fingers. If it's too long, you're just wasting wire. So, as you do need quite a bit of it before you're done with this boat. This will be the third boat that I've made. The first one was a 18 foot canoe. I didn't use this method to make that boat though, but my second boat was a 14 foot duck hunting boat. I made that the same way as this one. This boat's just bigger is all. I just got to do this over and over and then I set it on the cradle, open it up and set it on the cradle. And I'll film all of that so you can see all of that too. Anyway, this is just more of the same over and over and over. I don't want to bore you with this, so I think I'll end this video right here.